Hi everybody, this is Joey Panic here with what is trending this week. And let me tell you, I say this every week, but it has been a really effed up week online, just based on the things you guys have been looking at. Let me start off, listen, I can read the hints, okay? You don't want her as a featured star, you want Lulu all the time. So, here you go. Great, I have a sidekick. You're like my Ed McMahon. All right, so let's start with uh, Beyonce got a booty slap. In one of her recent concerts, an over-enthusiastic fan reached up and whacked her booty as she walked by, causing Beyonce to stop the show. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't intentionally slapping her booty. I mean, let's be honest, Beyonce's got a big booty. Maybe he was merely raising his arm in uh, support of her song. Maybe he was really into the beat. Or, I don't know, who am I kidding? He totally whacked her booty. He's lucky that all she did was give him a warning because I'm surprised she didn't slap him back with her booty. You guys, Amanda Bynes, listen. I think I'm gonna change my format where I'm just gonna be covering Amanda Bynes every week because she gives me plenty of material. She got busted throwing a bong out of the 37th floor of a Midtown hotel. I'm not laughing because whoever got that bong in the face all the way those 37 floors down did not find it funny. But man, those are some balls. You're throwing a bong out the window. That's wrong on so many levels. She later said that the police officer, quote, slapped her vagina. I'm just trying to think logistically how that would work. So I took to the internet where clever internet user Susie pointed out that um, it's impossible to slap a vagina. The vagina is the birth canal. It's internal. A female's outer genitalia is the vulva. Well, considering there was no mention of the vulva on the police report, I think it's pretty safe to say that the whole incident never happened. Amanda, let me give you a little hint. Courtney Love went on record this week saying, pull it together, babe. When Courtney Love is telling you that you're out of control, you are out of control. Arrested Development came back to Netflix this week and people were glued with a record number of downloads and a few little piracy steals. And it wasn't you or I, we're safe. Netflix has already said that they're willing to produce an additional season if the cast is willing. Now this would replace previous plans to do a film after this season on Netflix. Personally, I would rather see the extra season because we get more character development, we get more episodes, we get more hours of Arrested Development. I'll be totally honest with you, I have not sat down and binge viewed the entire season because I'm like taking it like little pieces of popcorn. I'm like my dad with like a Hershey bar he keeps in the refrigerator and just breaks off a little piece every day. I can't devour the whole thing because I want to make it last. JC Penny is facing a little bit of hot water, literally. Twitter users put, no Reddit. Reddit users pointed out, you know, you could help here that a tea kettle they've recently been featuring looks a little bit like Hitler due to its asymmetrical handle and spout. Come on, people. I mean, a tea kettle cannot look like Hitler. This is where I have to say, like, this accusation is in the eye of the beholder. Have you seen the tea kettle? Oh shit, you guys, that looks like Hitler. A female employee at a Costco in Sterling, Virginia, was shot and killed this week after she threatened customers with a knife and would not respond to the police officer's orders to hold still. I mean, I feel bad. Listen, I'm not going to make fun of anyone's death. But I did find out that this employee was working one of the sample stations. Have you ever been to the sample stations at Costco? I knew it was going to end bad. Those people will tear you alive for that little croissant. A nude painting of B. Arthur sold for $1.9 million this week. Rumors were surfing on the internet that Jimmy Kimmel was the one who bought it, but he's denying it. But if you've seen it, it's a little bit like a car accident, like I can't look away. Now, we did find out that B. Arthur did not actually pose for this portrait while she was living. It was merely in the artist's imagination, which might be slightly more disturbing. Look at you, you're doing so good. McDonald's CEO told a nine-year-old blogger this week that McDonald's does not sell junk food. <coughs> Bullshit. I'm sorry, have you ever been at the bathroom after someone's had McDonald's? That shit is junk food. All right, so that's it. Those are this week's trends. I got my new co-host. I really felt like I carried this video. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you, you're kind of Cindy Bradying on me a little bit. All right, that's it. Listen, have a great week and share. You know I love the share button. Share is not just the ex-wife of Sunny. That was a bad joke, but if it works, if it makes you share, I'll take it. All right, I gotta give this one back to her trailer. Have a good week.